Hello and good morning. Welcome to another uh, edition of Business Marketplace kung saan we promote and get to learn uh, our fellow SMEs and how they are uh, coping up with the current situation. And also, uh, we are here to learn ano yung mga products and services nila. Of course, ang purpose ng Business Marketplace is to promote SMEs, products, and services. And of course, get to know also the a person behind those products and services. And right now, we'd like to introduce our three guests. So our three guests will start sa pinakabata. Uh, pinakabata, mukhang bata. No? He is the CEO of Roar Audio Production. Isa ko tong uh, matalik na kaibigan. At the same time, former president and chairman ko to sa Advertising Suppliers Association of the Philippines during my ASAP days. I miss ASAP, but uh, of course... Uh, let's introduce and welcome none other than Roy Del Valle. Hi, Roy. Good morning, Arlie. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Kamusta ka na? Anong ginagawa mo at pinagkakabahala? Personally, uh, ah. Huwag mo na trabaho. Uh, Mamaya ako na tanong yun. Uh, personally, at trabaho, halo-halo na ngayon eh. Kasi <laughs> changing landscape. So talagang ang daming pinag-aaralan. Ang dami talaga. Ang daming kailangan pag-aralan, especially yung technology these days, kung ano-anong pinag-aaralan mo, paano ilawan ng mukha mo, ganyan. Paano maglagay ng microphone, sa, paano mag-live stream, katulad nito. Yeah, tama. Ayan. Pero sa tingin ko, among us, among all of us, yung kagaya mo yung ready-ready kasi konti lang yung pag-aaralan, yung learning curve. Kasi eto na talaga yung industry mo eh. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan, introduce muna natin yung pangalawa nating guest of course, uh, ang uh, second guest natin is the Chief Marketing Officer of Successu International Incorporation. So, mamaya siya magpapaliwanag ko na yung Successu International, uh, Corpor- uh, Successu International Inc. Uh, let's welcome, ang pinakabata to, bata, Erica Cabrera. Hi, Erica. Erica, can you hear us? Ayan, nag-prose. Yan yung mga... Um, <laughs> Erica, hello. Are you there? Can you hear us, Erica? Hi, sir. Good morning. Ayon. Good morning. <laughs> Ayan. O, kamusta na? Anong pinagkakabalan mo? Personally, mamaya natin pag-usapan. Ah, yes, yung, sir. Uh, Good morning. Work. Yes. What are you busy, Erica, right now? Personally. Ayan, o, sir. Ano ka oh, Yes, nadidinig ko. Okay. Oh, anong ginagawa mo ngayon? Anong uh, uh, pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon? What are you busy? Personal, hindi right. work ka. Ah. <laughs> oh, hindi work. Ngayon, ano, sa, sa bahay, medyo more on luto, tapos sa gym, ganun. Pero may allocation lang ako na time doon. Uh, Alright. So, more or less, uh, you are able to look after yourself uh, during this three months, almost three months na tayong lockdown. So, yung personally, yun yung ginagawa mo, no? So, uh, by the way, uh, so, fitness, good yun. And of course, yes, uh, pagluluto. So, okay, babalikan ka namin yes, ngayon mamaya sa negosyo yes, mo. Yes. Uh, let's introduce mm-hmm. our last uh, guest. And ito, uh, mahusay ito, no? Uh, when I learn about his business, kumbaga, uh, sumaludo ako, natuwa ako sa, sa galing ng business. Parang secretly, uh, he is dominating pala the market. Okay, let's introduce the owner of Nature's Infinity, uh, let's uh, welcome Joey Cadorniga. Hello, Joey. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Roy. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. Uh, at yung oh. mga nanonood. Good morning po sa inyo. Uh, yes. So, ano ngayon ang pinagkakaabalahan mo, Joey? Anong, etong lockdown na to, ano ang pinagkakaabalahan mo? Pinamantal uh, uh, ako yung since walang operations yung planta, uh, sinamantal ako siya iparenovate. Totally renovations lahat ng, ng from office to, to manufacturing to hanggang sa storage, hanggang sa entry of materials. Yung buong yun, pinaayos ko na lahat. Alright. So, ano? Ngayong pandemic. Okay. Uh, we're happy to hear that, no? Na you're preparing and of course improving your system. But before that, Mag, uh, shoutout muna tayo kay Summer 
Reyes, hello Summer, thank you for listening. Jessa May, Maria Catherine Bilasco, Kat, uh, Arman Mortejo from uh, uh, Dabao City, no? Nang Mangkok Diner Dabao. Hopefully we can have you here, uh, Arman. Of course, Janela May of Bataan, uh, Elmer and Amalia and others na hindi nako comment. Good morning sa inyo lahat and uh, we'll uh, take a look at the this is three guests ko na yung mga nasa isip niya bilang entrepreneur at uh, business owners and business managers. So, let's start with Roy. Okay, mamaya. Uh, Roy, the floor is yours to present your company. Good morning. Magandang umaga sa inyo. So, as already said, I am CEO of Roar Audio Productions. So, what is Roar Audio? Uh, as the name suggests, ang <laughs> Roar Audio is a... Uh, um, engaged in recording, mixing, audio posting, corporate themes, jingles, yung mga ganyang klase, radio ads, uh, live sound, and of course, na hindi masyadong pwede ngayon, events, music. Kami yung gumagawa ng mga production numbers. Kapag yung inyong mga corporate na expat ay papakantahin ninyo at pipilitin yung mag-production numbers sa inyong mga party, Kami yung mga pupunta para magturo ng kanta at the record sila. So these are some of our services that uh, we're engaged in. Yeah, if you want to get a better view of the company, etong aming mission. So our mission is actually at Roar, we use our expertise to provide world-class creative audio productions with a collaborative and approachable attitude in order to support and uplift the Philippine audio production industry. Simply put, medyo gusto namin yung madali kami kausap at mahilig kami makipag-co-collab with people and yung clients and the agency para pinakamagandang audio product ang mailabas natin. Um, just to give you an idea, we do both local, so we have local clients. Um, it's usually through our uh, agencies, sometimes direct. So, ito apala, ito pala yung slide, ano? So, yan, for Rebisco Foods Corporation, we've done for multinationals like Coca-Cola, yung ati mga Hinebra and Nestle, of course. Naisingit pa natin ang direct-to-client namin dyan, uh, Renucci Rice, the rice for the Filipino. Ayan, tapos na, nandiyan makikita nyo yung Starbucks pa. Ayan ang aming mga local clients. And for foreign clients, we also cater to them, especially dahil madali lang naman um, makipag-usap from abroad, especially if the product is audio. So we do stuff for Vietnam, uh, Hakuhodo, Vietnam. Uh, we do stuff for Japan and Korea. For Japan, nakikita niyo, obviously, ang mga manga, diba? Uh, our project now is doing dubbing for manga. Hindi to yung mga anime dubbing. Yung mismong manga na comics, ginagawa nila ng English dub. Of course, sa Pilipinas, napakaraming magagaling mag-English. So, dito, <laughs> nagagawa yung, ano, yung aming, uh, tawag dito, products na yan. Um, yun, actually, Ang, ang main uh, thing namin, uh, we've been in this industry for 25 years, but Roar Audio itself is a new company. Yung Roar Audio na yan, sabi namin, dati ang pangalan namin, Noisy Neighbors, but we wanted to come back as a even ano, noisier. So anong mas, mas, anong mas noisy pa dun? Eh, di mag-roar tayo. <laughs> and that's what we uh, give our clients. Something that's not only memorable, it will roar over the competition. So, yeah, and that's our company. Visit us at roaraudioproductions.com if you want to know more and see our demo reel. Yun lang naman, Orly. Uh, thank you, Roy, for that presentation. Pero may tanong ako sa'yo. Oh. Uh, so, may tanong palagi sa mga SMEs, what makes your product better and different or your services better and different from others or from the competition well right now i think what sets us apart is that collaborative effort um 
hindi ka hindi kami nag-aassign ng ibang tao. <laughs> We're very focused on actually talking with clients and producers. Hindi yung oh, uh, employee number one, paki-asikaso si ganyan. Feeling namin hindi ganun mag gumawa ng pinakamagandang product. Before we assign to our arrangers or engineer, kailangan kami mismo as owners, we understand kung ano yung objective ng client, kung anong gusto nilang gawin, kung malaki, maliit, simple, elaborate yung ganyang klase. Aside from that, now, um, more than ever, we are fully able to record uh, remotely. So we've set up our studio in such a way na pwede na kayo mag-recording pero uh, no contact recording. Our talent will be in the booth, our engineer will be in the engineer's booth, and you will be online hearing uh, high-quality session recording audio while you safely produce from home. Yeah. Right, all right. So may... Thank you, Roy. Pero may isa pa akong question bago natin oh, i-set yung next cut. <laughs> Siyempre. Kailangan ko itinong ito eh. Um, uh, kasi personally, sa'yo ko i-adres to. Sa tagal mo, ilang, I, I, of course, I uh, I miss Noisy Neighbor kasi doon tayo uh, nagkakilala no Noisy, yes. noisy Neighbor ka pa. Uh, but ang question is, ang dami rin dumarating ng mga uh, same service, sir, uh, same company na like yours, di ba? Mm-hmm. And ang tagal mo na sa industriya. Sa tingin mo, o oh, in this uh, current uh, situation that we're in, uh, ano, uh, ano, how do you appreciate it, an appreciation mo uh, in relation to the industry and in relation to the business that you're in? Um, these days, ang gusto ko pa rin, our industry kasi is an industry of talent. So never kami na insecure sa ganyan. Alam mo yun? Uh, ibang kliyente, kailangan nila si Sarah Jeronimo. Yung ibang kliyente, kailangan nila Si Yolo Pasqua. Okay, so it's not the same. It's really your talent and what you can give. So hindi nakakatakot yung competition that way. It's a really creative competition, hindi lang presyo-presyuhan. These days, ang gusto ko niyan ay eh, medyo naging online na talaga tayo. And ang feeling ko, we can adapt easier than other ano than other creative uh, industries like live events or live shows yun din yan um, and at the same time be ready to support that industry when it opens up in ang feeling ko ayan all right thank you for that answer Roy. mamaya marami pa akong tanong but uh, uh, sa mga audience natin nanonood uh, isa lang masabi ko uh, yung uh, roar audio production and si Roy really uh, uh, prove na represent the product. Ang ganda ng audio niya, di ba? Ang ganda ng audio. Mga kaibigan. Hindi hahandog. Si Orly Balisteros. <laughs> yes. Yan yun. Ganun, ganun katindi yung ano niya. Kaya yun yung mahal na mahal natin si Sureno. Si Talagang nakita niyo yung audio pa lang. Siyempre, audio yung product niya and we can see na totoo yung sinasabi niya because right now as we... Uh, interact with Roy talaga ang ganda nung uh, audio. Brilliant nga, crystal na. Maraming talaga, parang salamat. Na, parang Maraming salamat. Brilliant yung brilyo yung dating mo sa amin. Ang gusto-gusto ko yung brilyo. Yes. So mamaya, mabrigan ka namin, Roy. Thank you. Uh, okay. Right now, we'll introduce our next guest. Um, maybe the, sabi nga natin, nauna na yung wisdom eh. Tapos eto, uh, pinakabata yata ito eh, no? na guest natin among the three, of course. Uh, but for that, shout out also to uh, Chit Laurentine from SLU Baguio City, thank you. And Catherine Bilasco, thank you for uh, joining the uh, this episode. Uh, let's introduce our second guest. Our second guest is the Chief Marketing Officer of Successu International Inc. Siya uh, magsasabi ko ano Successu International Inc. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Erica Cabrera. Erica? Hi, good morning. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning, everyone, to all the viewers. Yes. And my co right, guest Erica. speaker, good morning. Mm-hmm. Yes, the floor is yours. Hi, Linda. And Hi. Erica, take it away. Uh, sir, thank you for this opportunity you gave to us to promote our products uh, and to share. packaging materials. Uh, our company vision is 
data delivery system and innovation for the best quality products. For our co company mission, uh, to offer enterprise. So next is our product lines. Uh, product lines is Linux. So uh, we manufacture different kinds of packaging materials. Uh, as you can see the slides, uh, if you have our uh, requirements with packaging like stand-up pouch, so it's a customized form. Kung gusto po natin na magkaroon na sariling brand, direct print na dun sa mismong packaging, we do that. So we have different kinds of uh, material. We have the aluminum foil, we have the nylon bags. So mostly yung mga clients namin is food and non-food. So we serve... We serve yung mga packaging na magpo-prolong ng shelf life ng produkto. We also have the courier bags na ginagamit din for deliveries. Yan. In customized form. Lahat to pwede natin ipa-customize sa gusto natin na uh, material. For example, gumagamit tayo ng food na ilalagay sa freezer, food na liquid, anything na gusto natin ma- prolong your shelf life niya, pwede natin yan i-customize. Then, we also have uh, the packaging tapes. Ito naman yung ginagamit for packaging na. For example, you have the product na packaging, ilalagay natin sa box. So, yun yung ginagamit natin, yung packaging tape. So, yun. We do also have the PVC strip. Ito naman yung ginagamit sa mga uh, planta din, factory, Usually, sa mga indoor to or outdoors na ginagamit para ma, hindi tayo makontain yung lamig sa loob or yung mga insects hindi siya direct makapasok dun sa lalagyan natin na storage. For the cold storage, yun, we have different kinds then. So, for inquiry, we have our website. You can visit us at successuinternationalinc.com. Ayun, Sir Orly. Hello. Nice presentation, Erica. Actually, may uh, oh. nag i na si Maria Catherine Actually, Bilasco. Oh, sir, oh. medyo hindi From ko Laguna. pwede kasi... Yeah, hindi ko pwede i-disclose yung mga list of our clients kasi yeah, we yeah. have uh, confidentiality with the transaction. So, anything yes. na laminated, flexible packaging yan, we, we can assist yun. Lahat yun customized form. Uh, tsaka huwag kang masyadong gagalaw kasi yung mga nakikinig. Hi, Doris of UPEC. Nakikinig si Doris. Tapos, uh, nawawala ka lang nagiging static audio mo. Eh, mga owners oh, oh, mga nakikinig sa atin, like si Summer, yes, so, si Linda, yes, hi, our po. owners, our SME. So, tapos si Maria Catherine Bilasco is also uh, uh, owner yan ng, uh, alam ko, Kat, uh, are you uh, uh, food pack, food products din siya. So, yes, she's interested. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ayun, Kat, nakita mo yung uh, contact ni uh, Erica. And, uh, hopefully, Erica, nakita mo yung comment uh, just message kay non bala mag-usap. That's the purpose of our uh, 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 discussion right now to promote these companies that are presenting and to ano para magpalitan talaga ng business. And of course, tawagin na yes, natin sir. yung uh, we'll get back to you Erica sa panel interview natin. Okay. okay, okay uh, we'll introduce our last guest uh, also ito uh, he is dominating the market secretly. Pero yan, ganun ka galing tong taong to. Um, he is the owner of Nature's Infinity. Okay, let's welcome Joey Cadorniga. Hello, Good Joey. Morning, yes. Hello, sir. Hello, the floor is yours, Joey. And Thank take you. it away. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Joey Cadorniga and I'm the owner of Joey 80 Soap Manufacturing. My company produces uh, quality natural cosmetic products as it is, as we incorporate a quality um, management system in our organization. All business activities focus on quality. Every step is programmed to meet 
benchmark quality levels for the purchase of raw, from the purchase of raw materials, uh, processing, storage, and distributions. From 2001 up to 2018, my company focused on total man, uh, in tall manufacturing. Uh, gumagawa po ako ng mga products for companies uh, na nabibili na ninyo, siguradong nabibili na ninyo sa mga supermarket department stores. Um, uh, nung mid of 2018, uh, my marketing manager and I, Erling Guerrero, is planning to nagtanong kami na sabi namin, kailangan magkaroon na tayo ng brand dahil ang tagal-tagal na, na ang tagal ko na sa na gumagawa. Uh, I'm just the shadow of the uh, those companies. So sabi ko, sige. And then, that's the birth of uh, Nature's Infinity. Um, initially, our target was um, a foreign visitors. And we launched this product in Budget Mart in Boracay. Luckily, uh, in God's mercy and blessings, our offtake was unexpected. It was successful. The time the pro our product was placed in the uh, in the shelves, it was sold out right away, <clears throat> and the um, merchandisers uh, email us na meron agad another PO within a week. So yun yung naging ano ko inspirations ko at ko ba first time in the market pero Lumaki. That was in January 2019. Now, nung, nung, mid, uh, nung February, nag-market nag na ako. Punta ako ng SM, punta ako ng Cebu for the Ayala supermar uh, department stores. And then, lahat ng transactions ko, lahat sila approve yung product ko. Um, now, um, in general, uh, my mission is, in general, the company has no specific target in terms of gender, age, class, or race. We develop a product that can be used by anyone, and our philosophy is to give our consumer the best natural cosmetics, affordable, effective, and feel the difference. Because I believe that great skin care starts with pure and natural ingredients. And my vision is... Um, Nowadays, people tend to go back to the essential natural product because of health consciousness and awareness. And our vision is to be known for producing a natural, safe, and active cosmetics and capture the market in terms of sales, effectivity, place in the heart and mind of every consumer, our site is to maintain and improve the success we are getting to make the company big in cosmetic industry. Um, our partners, in February, I started marketing with uh, my product in Metro Ayala, SM Cultura. Now we also partnered with Go Local. It's a project of DTI, um, helping those small scale industry um, and uh, parang tinulungan nila kami to open, uh, to show our products to the world in our international market. Um, yan po, makita niyo sa slides, uh, yung mga partners ko ngayon, in one year time, na-accomplish ko yung, na makuha yung mga malalaking uh, supermarket and department stores in in a span of one year in operations. In, nung pumasok yung 20, at uh, that, nung 28, 19, uh, nung mid na, na mga, around October of 28, 19, inumpisa na namin yung Mercury, yung mga Robinson, Sustans, at nung, nag, nung January, dapat, nasa ano na kami eh. Kasi matagal po ang mga negotiations niya. Hindi naman basta-basta. Bigla yung iba deliver, for delivery na nagkaroon ng pandemic. <laughs> Ditong lahat po na-stop. So, anyway, we, we were positive that uh, after this uh, pandemic, maayos ulit yung 
uh, economy natin at makakapag-umpisa ulit tayo. Parang natutulog muna siya for the meantime. Uh, sa ganda ng 2019, pagpasok ni 2020, medyo natulog siya. I hope that by mid of, uh, ah, mid na pala tayo ngayon, by, oh, by end of this year, naka, nakabangon na tayong lahat. Ilang po, sir? Alright, thank you, Joey. Uh, ngayon, tawag natin yung, uh, tawagin natin yung mga other guests natin. Can you, yeah. may tanong ako sa inyo. Isang unang tanong, simulan natin kay Joey. So, is the effect of pandemic, uh, anong effect sa inyo nun? Uh, sobrang laki ba or hindi naman masyado? So, sa akin ba? Sa akin ba, sir? Oo, oh, yes. Uh, actually, uh, 70% of my sale coming from the foreign visitors and 30% just from the local market. So, I was really affected. Talagang apektado kami ngayon dahil sa nawalan tayo ng turista. Uh, kung makikita niyo yung ano ko sir, yung last part ng slide ko pala, I forgot yung, yung showing those asa uh, sa mga supermarkets. Products. Kita mo doon sa puro yes. foreigner yung bumibili ng mga produkto ko. Gustong gusto nila yung Aping. product. So yung ano, ano in particular na product yon? Anong product yung number uh, yung 1 sa foreigner? Uh, lotions, meron kaming shampoo, meron kaming facial balm, lip balm. Um, so ano yung hindi sila mahilig sa whitening eh, kaya ang ano namin <laughs> 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 sila, sila. <laughs> oh, Okay, balikan kita Joey. Hey. Yes, thank you Joey. Balikan kita Balik tayo kay Erika. Erika, uh, ikaw, anong effect ng, sa sakseso ng, ano, ng pandemic? Sir, ka is, sir is my audio is okay na? Yung okay audio na. ko okay na? Hindi na yes. Okay, nag-change yes. ako ng headset. Uh, so actually, yung pandemic kasi ngayon, yung, yung na-experience namin na since we are factory ng mga plastic, yung order ng iba namin customer na hindi siya essential, medyo kumonte talaga kasi nag-slow down talaga. But yung sa food kasi is continuous naman siya. Then meron kami na-adapt na new strategy. Kasi ngayon, sir, more on nangailangan ng generic packaging for ano naman to, pagbabalot ng relief goods. So nag-mass produce kami nito, nabenta namin sa different LGUs or yung mga nangangailangan for packing ng relief goods. Yun, sir, bali, nadagdagan yung volume nung, yung item na hindi namin before pinupush. So like yung mga PE plastic for rice, sandbags, ganyan. So ibig mo bang sabihin uh, yung pandemic nagkaroon kayo ng increase sales o kahit paano may bagong sales kayo na na-produce na medyo malaki rin kasi marami LGU siya no. In terms of yes, yes, sir. sales. Actually, uh, in terms in terms din sa mga single layer na plastic sir kasi we had the flexible yung mga laminated. So ito yung mga nasa grocery store. In terms naman dun sa mga single layer like PE, PP, yun medyo nag volume talaga yung order nito. Yung mga dati sir na hindi namin nakikater yung maliliit na order, ginawa namin instead na hindi namin siya may produce one produce siya generic form, then nasiserve namin yung maliliit na yun, which is nakatulong din kami sa mga nangangailangan at some right. point. So it means na yung pandemic is also another opportunity sa company mo? Yes. Uh, siya kasi ano pala, uh, lahat ng item namin is food grade, then biodegradable. So wala tayo mag- with proper disposal po, ah, kasi lahat ng plastic, pag hindi po natin siya dispose na maayos, yun, med- medyo may epekto sa environment. Kaya, yun din, isa advocacy ng company, once to use anything kahit maliit na plastic, itapon natin sa tamang tapunan. Kasi yun talaga yung, yung proper, sir, para hindi tayo ano, sa environment. Alright, thank you, Erica. Now we go to Roy, of course. Mm-hmm. Ang ating uh, senior statement among the... <laughs> Roy, no? Senior statement. <laughs> oh, Season, kasi diba? Eh. Season. <laughs> Season, senior. Oh. Uh, um, so yung sa, effect, gano'ng kalaking uh, effect? Alam mo, sa amin, in our company, medyo may gulat. Uh, para bang, kasi al- ang daming, ang daming initially nag-isip. Obviously, and I completely understand. Aalin ko yung audio at this time of a pandemic. Diba? Medyo nabigla. Merong mga isa, dalawang linggo na parang time out muna tumigil talaga. 
<laughs> and then everything else started. Itong mga ito, video streaming, biglang merong online shows, and then sandali lang, kailangan ko palang kumanta online, kailangan ko pala mag-present online. Tapos ayan na yung mga request, ba? Diba? Can you help us fix our audio? <laughs> Pwede ba namin ayusin yung audio? Kasi gusto ko naman i-present yung sarili ko as best I, as I can online. Bigla na lang, ano, ang, ang audio mo kasi and video, biglang ito yung bagong damit mo online. Parang ganon. <laughs> so it turns out, after two weeks, na dire-diretso lang naman yung aming foreign clients. So ang nangyari, nag-quarantine kami sa studio. Walang biro. Dahil sa studio kami nag... Ano? Kasi mayroong mga editing from abroad eh. Itong mga manga. Diba? Ang Japan hindi naman totally nag-shutdown eh. So um, yung mga dub... Ah, ngayon, ang mga dubbers na nasa bahay, yan ang ginawa namin. The first two weeks, we had to set up yung audio recording nila sa mga bahay nila and help them in such a way na studio quality, yung broadcast quality from home. So, yun ang challenge namin na kailangan ang ganda ng tunog nyo pero galing sa bahay ninyo. Papadala nyo sa amin, aayusin namin and send it out for broadcast. So, yun ang naging challenge. It's more of, alam mo yung zigzag ka ng zigzag kaysa a real stop. Uh, para kang, ah, ito pala ang need. Iwas tayo dito. Okay? Ito pala ang kailangan natin challenge punta tayo dyan, yung mas ganun eh, merong konting adjustment, and yun nga lang, kakaiba, diba? Whoever thought that I'd be sending out jingles, uh, no, from from talents na iba-ibang part ng bansa. So, I, t- I think it's a good thing, pero yun ang effect. Merong two weeks na lal, ngayon slowly, slowly bumabalik na ang, ano, ang, ang uh, jingles, radio ads, online ads, tapos yung mga audio requirements nga. Parang gusto na ng mga tao, kasabay ng magandang magandang damit at maayos na camera, gusto na nila maayos yung audio. So we've been helping people set up their audio equipment. Yun ang ginagawa namin. Na, na, hindi namin ginagawa talaga. So meron kaming na-develop na bagong parang line or service ngayong pandemic dahil nga need siya ng mga tao. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Roy. Ang uh, napaka-indep. Sabi, sabi ko nga eh, ba senior statement eh. So parang lumalabas ang sabi ni Roy is merong bagong opportunity and same naman yung part yun ng core ng business niya na offer nila, no? So hopefully, uh, oh, magpapaturo rin ako sa inyo ng audio quality pero para ang mamahal ng gamit eh. Paano ka nakakabili ng gamit? <laughs> On a budget lang. On your budget. Uh, Oh, 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 walang biro. Kayang-kaya ng lahat ng business owners. Mag-set up okay. ng kanilang sariling station for an online meeting. Well, on a budget. Walang biro, hindi nyo, hindi nyo iindahin to. Sige, bago tayo, walang kailangan. Ayan, si Ordi ang nag- nag-hang. Ordi. <laughs> Medyo may delay kod. Yan. Ayan. Welcome back, Orly. So, how Ayan, are Roy, you? Balik, balik okay. mo ka ulit. Again, <laughs> <laughs> welcome. I'm fine. <laughs> Roy, so ulitin mo ka ulit yun dahil naglag tayo. Uh, ah. Kaya, so sa mga nakikinig, so if you want a uh, good audio, of course, yes. Roy is the Roar Audio Productions, the the company to go. And at the same time, madali lang iset up. At mura lang, ha? Mura lang, mura lang. O, de, ganito, ha? On uh, on your budget. Okay? Magre-recommend ako. Budget. Depend. Okay? P- pwedeng mura, pwedeng medium, pwedeng super high-end. Depende sa gusto ninyo. Diba? Of course, yung mga high-end, mas future-proof kasi. Diba? So, yes. pero yung mga low-end, hindi, hindi siya, hindi siya pangit. As in, ma- it's like a hundred, 200%, 300% increase dun sa quality ng, ano nyo, nung, performance kumbaga from from where you are from your office or from your home All right thank you Roy uh, sagutin muna natin yung uh, si Summer palagi nanonood diyan thank you Summer may tanong kay Erike eh. ano raw minimum ah, yeah. ano, Hi. order quantity Summer is a wedding organizer hindi ko alam kung ano pa business ni Summer pero ano yan uh, okay. wedding Summer's company Expo 
wedding expo so summer yan ang ginagawa niya so Erica what's the so, minimum order so sir for the yes uh, for the minimum order part kasi talaga ng uh, mission namin is ma serve din yung mga startup yung small and medium so maybe you can contact my number ma'am or email address so i can assist you dun sa inquiry mo I'll send it na lang para... Tapos kailangan ko rin kasi kung ano yung specification ng products. So it's a customized form. So maybe we can talk later para right. ano, ma-discuss natin. All right, Thank you. Uh, of course, shout out kay Maria Paz Castro of, from Our Lady of Fatima University. And hopefully, ma'am, next time around yung mga sudyante mo. Dahil may pasok pa rin tayo eh. Sabi nila, nagkakalituhan pa na. Pero private school, alam. Roy, may pasok ba yung anak mo sa Lasal? Wala, wala. On hold, on hold. On um, hold, alright. Ang ano, hinihintay nilang mag-lift yung, uh, mag-GCQ para lang masabi. Kailan ang pasok? Kailan ang start? So, etong tanong na to para kay uh, Joey at saka kay Roy. Of course, partially kay Erica. Joey, kailan mo naisip na magnegosyo Ano yung uh, reason mo O ano yung stimulus na nag-prompt sa'yo para mag-business? Or inspiration? Uh, so, kasi I, I'm a dentist by profession talaga. Um, naisip ko na time will come, manginginig din ang kamay natin. At kailangan natin ng other source ng income. So, inisip ko na pagtanda, uh, merong mga tao na, you know, uh, magtatrabaho rin para para sa'yo. Yun yung naging motivation ko. And by the way, yung ano rin ng Joey AT, ang success, ang part ng success ng Joey AT is yung manpower ko. Dahil, dahil hindi po ako nag-hire uh, ng casual. Lahat sila regular. And they, uh, meron silang above minimum na sweldo. Hindi ako sa minimum. Lagi sila above the minimum. Meron sila mga benefits. Kasi yung yung sa yung ano ko po is para kang maging successful sa isang ginagawa mo, yung workforce mo, mahalin mo. Yun po yung kasi pagka la, la, lalo na nung last December, wala pa tayong problema. Grabe po ang PO namin yung mga tao ko, yan talagang tinatapos nila ang trabaho nila. Kahit mag-overtime sila, talagang pagising ko sa umaga, na-deliver na. Wala akong, wala akong naging problema. So, yung, ang ano ko po is pakikisama sa mga tao natin. And also, thank you to my two marketing, ano, si Erlene Guerrero and Michael uh, uh, Michael is my classmate in UP. Salamat at dahil sa inyo, um, maganda ang naging ano natin ng 2019. Yun lang, sir. Alright. Alright, ikaw naman. Thank you. Parang ano, damang-dama kita eh, Joey. Pero bago ko baka si Joey. Joey, sumasahod ngayon yung mga staff mo. Pinapasahod mo pa rin sila. Uh, ngayon, sir, hindi. Kung production meron, or partially? Meron akong ginawang, hindi ko sila pinapasahod na, ano, ang ginawa ko sa kanila, sir, since na pandemic nga, nagkaroon dito ng construction, sila-sila yun, sir. Hmm? Rotation. Ah, okay. So, so iba. Nagkaroon ka ng livelihood. May pagkakakitaan sila during pandemic. Palit-palit sila ng, ano, hmm. uh, Kunti mo babae, sir, nagpipituran. Shift, shifting. Uh, Kunti mo babae, okay. nagliliha. Yung ganun, parang sila-sila yon. Wala akong kinuha outside na na tao. So yung, kasi yung maintenance ko, talagang karpintero naman talaga siya. So siya yung pinaka-head. So sila-sila yon. Nagkaroon sila ng work continuously. So na-shift mo, no? So okay pa rin sila. O oh, Roy! Yes! Thank you, Joey. Roy! Oh, ano? Anong paano? Paano ka nagsimula? Dati kasi ano to si Roy, eh. Sa skwelaan to eh. Di ba, Roy? Tama ba? If I remember. Correct. Kung si, oh, kung si Joey ay dentista, ako naman ay guidance counselor. Kaya mo yun? 
<laughs> guidance counselor of uh, by profession as when I started after college so it's a psychology major Layo, um, I got into music early on tapos after a few years of doing um, uh, yun na nga, guidance and counseling sabi ko game na ba gusto ko ba i-pursue ang music so I pursued that became a backup singer became a session musician, pakanta-kanta, backup sa mga artista, um, tapos mga jingles, tapos yung napunta ko sa jingles, parang, parang masaya ito. I think yung nakita ko sa advertising, para bang ito yung way na uh, kaya kong masupport yung aking uh, craft. Diba? Yung pag-compose, pag-arrange, pag-kanta. Pasok ako sa jingles, tas, ayun, hindi na tuloy ako nakalabas kahit kailan. <laughs> <laughs> dere diretso na siya. Um, yun, but I still do everything like that. Um, I still do voiceovers. Kumakanta pa rin ako, di ba? Pa Star Wars, Star Wars sa tabi-tabi. Bumble uh, na rin yung Star Wars. Amin ko na eh. Huwag <laughs> na iinis nga yung mga tao doon sa jingle. <laughs> <kung yun eh. laughs> Unfortunately, or ano, paborito ko yun. <laughs> yung Star Wars ad na yan. Yung ano, Star Wars, Star Wars, Kinta by to the max. <laughs> yan, yan, yan. Yeah. Yes, paborito ko yan. Tuwan-tuwa kami sa paggawa ng jingle na yan. Eh ako, tuwan na tutuwa din naman ako because we're creating audio logos. Eh. I'm, I'm sure everyone pinag- dito sa grupong to, diba? si Erica, si Joey, pinaghihirapan nyo yung itsura ng mga logos nyo, yung bawat brand, di ba? Um, minsan nakakalimutan ng mga tao, pag dinalabas mo yung product mo online, like ACS, for example, di ba? Rinig na rinig mo, eh. ACS, di ba? Alam mo, alam mo agad yung brand, di ba? Um, meron naman yung Honda. Sa dulo ng kanilang commercials, medyo, meron silang The Power of Dreams. Gaganon sila. Diba lalabas, Honda, the power of dreams. Gaganon yun. Uh, these, these things are audio cues. Ito ay mga jingles. And tumatagal din ito mga ito. So sabi ko, natutuwa ako na tinutulungan ko yung mga clients namin makagawa ng ganon. Diba? Ang sarap ng feeling mo. Yung mga ganyan. Pasok yun. Diba? Tapos dekada na yung ginagamit uh, ng Rebisco. So things like that, naging, naging yung for my passion, naging business. Tapos, Awa ng Diyos, nandito pa naman kami. Pandemic or no pandemic. <laughs> Alright. And ano, of, uh, of course, si Roy nga pala may banda yan. Roy, ano oh! yung pangalan ng banda natin? A midlife Crisis Band. <laughs> yeah. uh, ayan nga. Bagi na bagay, di ba? Ang kasama namin si Ro- Ronnie Henares. Yan yung si, si Asa Pipito Manalota, di ba? Siyempre si Sir Enchong Formoso. Enchong Formoso, former duty-free general former. manager. Um, it's a, it's an, what they call now, they say, executive band. Di ba? Yung mga, ano, mga professionals and ano, halo-halo and session musicians. So, yan ang tumigil. Namimiss na namin mag-session. We had... Chef and Brewer gigs, meron kami mga pro- corporate gigs, tsaka ano, um, ano ito, yung Winford, sa Winford, Manila, eh, nag-regular kami doon, pigil talaga. Yun ang, yun ang big hit for live, eh, ano, live performances. Um, buti na lang for, for us, we had as ibang income stream, pero talagang tinamaan ng mga musikero, yun talaga. Pigil lang negosyo nila. Pag yun lang ang ginagawa mo, So, isang learning sa sharing mo, Roy, is audio logo. Yan, ha? Uh, alam ko, ano yan, parang hindi masyado nababang ito, the audio logo. Yan. So, yes, tumatatak. So, sabi, nga ni, uh, sabi nga ni Linda, sa nating kaibigan dyan, audio branding really helps tumatatak talaga. Thank you, Roy. Yan, sabi ni Linda. Si Linda is uh, owner of a travel and tour. Tinamaan din tayo, Linda, pero hindi ko alam, maraming business yan. So, for sure... <laughs> Hopefully, may invite natin si Linda Erika, of course, successful ang kanyang um, pinopromote but, uh, Erika, pwede ko ba sabihin na meron din itong uh, Yeah, beauty, sure, sige sir Meron din itong beauty products sa uh, entrepreneur dito si Erika on the side yeah. So Erika, what of course, ano yun ko na, no? labas sa success so what made you decided to to be an entrepreneur and to launch that Erika whitening uh, ano ba? Whitening soap ba yun? Whitening ano? 
company of yours? Uh, it's a uh, uh, mga cosmetics siya, sir. It's a different kinds of. Ang focus siya talaga is more on whitening. Oh, more on whitening siya. Pero sir, bigyan ko sila ng ano, ng background with Successo. Successo kasi is a family business. Before right. I used to work with other company then. So hindi ko kumbaga parang feeling ko hindi ko passion yung plastic eh. Parang you know, parang may ganung ano sa yo par- no una pero no nakita ko na oh kailangan i-design kailangan mag-innovate kailangan maganda yung packaging so yun nakita ko din talaga yung passion ko na oh kailangan ko sa marketing na na success so nag-resign na ako hindi na ako nag-work sa ibang company then nandito na ako sa success so then on the side meron kami sinisimula na uh, cosmetic it's uh, yung focus niya talaga is more on whitening and wellness kasi we have food supplement then So, Obvious naman, nakikita namin sa aktura mo. Obvious naman, nakikita namin sa aktura mo. Pagka nag-take ka na. <laughs> yes, oo. So, pero so, sir, if there's any uh, inquiry for the packaging, we assist any kinds ng, ng sa food, non-food, lahat yan meron tayo. So, yun, pwede ko ibigay right. yung contact details dun sa lahat na nag inquire Yan. Okay, tamo, ganyan. Ganyan ka tindi mag-market ng product si Erica, di ba? Inquiry agad, o, may mag-inquire ba dyan? That's... <laughs> Talagang marketer na marketer. Direct to the point. Direct. Siyempre. Question. Uh, uh, talagang business talaga nakakatawa. May question na uli ako. Uh, of course, unahin yes, ko naman I cannot, na Erica. Sir, sorry. Uh, uh, I cannot disclose kasi yung mga... Yes, uh, uh, yeah. No, no need. Hindi namin tatanungin yung mga client po. Uh, hindi namin kukunin. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Ang question ko, uh, unahin, unahin, natin, unahin natin si Erica. No nagkaroon ng pandemic yes, uh, tapos okay. nakita mo para nag-stop nag-stop yung business. Pinanghinaan ka ba ng loob or yung company ba pinanghinaan ng loob? Wa ano yung ano, yung mental makeup uh, or psychological mm-hmm. makeup mo? Yes, yes for me, sir kasi as marketing yeah, as marketing man, parang hindi ko nakita yung pandemic na dapat kami manghina. Uh, bagkos gumawa kami ng parang strategy or yung magiging strength na kailangan, actually sir, plastic kailangan siya eh. So naghanap kami ng way paano namin ito maibibenta at the same time makatulong talaga dun sa in-need na biglaan. So we have the machine, we have the, luckily we have stock ng raw materials, so nakakapag-produce kami agad. So part naman sir ng benta, yung advocacy namin is yung mga long term eh, like yung makatulong kami dun sa talagang in-need agad. Yung price, madali lang yan, sir, eh. Doon tayo sa advocacy lagi na, oh, ito si success, so hindi lang siya about kumita or what. Kundi yun, mang, makatulong din kami sa in-need talaga ng packaging. Which is, timely, sir, kailangan ngayon. Lalo sa mga relief goods natin na uh, pinapax. So yun, nakatulong din talaga kami doon. Alright. How about yes, you, sir. Joey? Thank you, Erica. How about you, Joey? Pinanghinaan ka ba? Yes, uh, thank you. Hindi, sir. <laughs> ano nangyari? Ano mental, ano mo? Uh, parang kinundisyon ko lang yung sarili ko na parang natutulog lang ako, nagpapahinga lang ako for a while. Uh, meron ako nalimutan, sir, eh. Kasi dun sa, na- na-establish ko na yung market ko sa ground. Meron ako nalimutan isa na hindi ko nagawa na dapat nakakatulog Which is? during the pandemic. Wala akong online selling, di ba? <laughs> Wala akong online marketing. So, siguro yun yung, yung ngayon during this uh, uh, time of practice, dapat yun yung pagpuunan ko ngayon ng pansin. Alright. How about you, Roy? Yes. Uh, ano, ano mental? Sabi ano mo two, mga... two weeks. Oo, alam mo yung two weeks eh, hindi ako napinapanghinaan unang-una. Kasi production, alam mo to early. Medyo naging pahinga sa atin to. <laughs> Parang, ha, kahit pa paano, nakahinga ako ah. <laughs> Tapos after two weeks, tama eh. Parang si, si ano, uh, sabi ni Joey, parang time out muna. Nakakapagod kasi yung, diba, break next speed ang entrepreneur eh. Wala, ikaw, ikaw na maalam na rin ni Erica. Ikaw ang walang pahinga. Diba? Kahit na uh, ang may 9 to 5 kang empleyado, <laughs> Wala ikaw, 9 to 9 to 9 to 9 to 9. Diba? Wala, wala. So the first two weeks was really, was really a chance for us, everyone here, kasama si Mrs. Diba? To relax, tapos clear your mind. Siguro it took us about, on the third week, 
sige nga, ano ba yung pwedeng gawin? Okay, yung ganun. Time out. Although, na, yan na nga, inuumpisa na namin, sige, mag-set up ka muna sa bahay so we're ready when we're going. Pero, hindi sa napag... We took time na magpahinga. Uh, and then, on the mga third week, fourth week, ayan na, medyo, sige, ano nang gagawin? Moving on, ano na ba tayo? Diba? Alright, so... Para nag, parang Joey and Roy, Sleeping Beauty, Erica, naganap na opportunity. And bago ako magtanong yung second, uh, sa so mga gusto magtanong, ha, uh, comment lang kayo. Thank you kay Catherine na naghahanap na siya, Roy, kung paano raw gagawin yun. Tapos kay Angie Travels of Mati City. Alam mo, marami talagang taga-dabaw na nakikinig eh. Shoutout din kay Bob Capistrano, of course, of De La Sal. Uh, UP ka na ba ngayon, Bob? I don't know. So... And of course, si Glenis ng UPEC, nakikinig. Ayan, yung kapatid din ni, ano, ni Joey, si Pet Cadorniga Soriano. Sir, by the way, wow. ano, ano, ha? may produkto tayo. Meron tayong, mabibili din nila yung product natin sa Cebu, sa Pampanga, sa Baguio, sa Davao. Ayan. Ayan, kalat na yan, ha? Oh. Oh, kalat na raw, pinapromote. Okay, so ayan, na-shoutout natin. Ang, ang next kong tanong sa inyo, um, ano yung, so medyo unti-unti nag-normalize na, Pero eto general lang naman yung usapan. Uh, bilang SME, ano ang main strategy na ipopursue nyo? Joey, mauna ka. Sir, yung strategy ko for... That, yan yan, yung online. Kailangan kong i-push yan. I -push yan. Wow. And then, um, yung launching ng... Ano namin? I hope that this GC... Ano na tayo, di ba ngayon? Uh, general... GCQ. Uh, GCQ na tayo ngayon. Wow. Uh, makapag makabalik na ako yung kasi yung mga orders Ayan. na nandiyan eh naka kailangan na may deliver yun eh talagang natutulog na lang siya sa storage eh kailangan na siyang may deliver yun lang naman kailangan na mapahawalan also actually before the announcement of the president yung 14 yata yun March 14 may delivery kami to Bohol and uh, Cebu Ngayon, hindi ko alam kung asan na yung mga produkto ko. Anyway, siguro nandun lang naman yung sa mga cargo. Um, kaya, eh, hindi, walang opisina. Hindi namin matanong kung asan na sila. Kumusta na nakarating na ba? So, naputol lang talaga. Biglang nakat lang yung business. Eh, I hope this next week, by next week, uh, GCQ na tayo. Um, okay na siya. Tumakbo na siya ulit. Alright. Roy? Yes. Ano main strategy, um, may, uh, international strategy ba yan or paano? Ano main galaw uh, mo? It's um, the local muna tayo. Uh, although yung, kasi yung international is something na bibigay namin yung needs ng international clients namin. Yung local, parang kay, parang, uh, kay, kay Joey, ang, kay, ang kailangan talaga yung strengthening ng ano, online presence. So, Tinitingnan na namin, not only for this business, yung isa naming negosyo na um, creative creative events place naman. Mas connected, mas madaling mag-remote, mag-connect yung mga customers, masagot mo sila online, tapos makapag-transact yung mismong supply chain na yun eh. Na kailangan ng customer papunta sa iyo, tapos ikaw to your talents, your talents back to you. <laughs> Alam mo yun? yung mismong supply chain ng creative supply chain ang sinestrengthen namin. So, pwede tayong safely mag-open up. Ang hirap, ang dami ang daming kasing nagkahawaan sa choir. Diba nakita niyo yung balita? Ang, ang pinakamahirap mag-spread ng droplets ay what, what, the super bad news for us is singing. Diba? Pa, more than coffee. Parang susunod na lang ata sa coffee ay kumanta ka. Na-imagine mo kung an So, yung lalo, aking... So, uh, ah, yes? Lalo naman, sir, ako. Dentista. Exactly! <laughs> Nakaganan ka, o. Oh. Say, ah. Uh, hindi pwede. Say, ah. Uh, can you please give me some corona, diba? Ay, nako. So, yung sa amin, yeah, may protocols for studio work. Um, kailangan matut matutunan namin mag-remote recording. Tapos, yan, so yan ang strategy. It's really um, being more safe and delivering the same quality product. 
yun ang yung ano kasi um, yung sa amin is it's a physical skill na kailangan naming i-manage uh, safely para maibigay pa rin namin yung produkto na maganda all right thank you Roy how about you Erica moving forward what's the main uh, direction that your company is pursuing Erica <laughs> can you hear us Ayan. Uh, we just kind of discuss yeah. kasi, sir. Kailangan talaga namin ng person na... Hello. Hi, sir. Yes, Hello. we can hear yeah. you. Okay na. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yeah, uh, with this kind of business kasi, kay, ang practice talaga namin is personal engagement. Eh, dahil medyo uh, technical yung produkto. So ngayon, we practice yung parang, like yung plant visit. May factory visit kasi kami, sir. Eh. So we use Zoom or Google Meet para i-plant tour si customer. So, hindi na nila kailangan pumunta dito sa factory para makita nila yung process, how how we do the packaging. So, ngayon, nagsistart kami pa konti-konti na gumagawa kami ng video, sinisend namin sa client na hindi namin talaga ginagawa before. So, yun yung isa sa nadagdag na strategy namin para medyo maiwasan muna yung personal engagement. So, yun, sir. Yan naman yun na. And then, the rest, continue pa rin kasi iba, more on repeat orders. So, yun, continue pa rin. So, lumalabas, uh, the three of you, like other SMEs, digital transformation, no? or digital talaga yung isa sa mga main strategy na ipopursue. Of course, uh, having said that, we're, we are near our last minute of the show. Uh, unahin natin si Erica, tapos Joey, and then Roy. Uh, last parting words na pwede nyo i-share sa ating mga ka-SMEs na nakikinig, ano yung gusto nyo mensaheng ipaabot sa kanila. Erika? Uh, for me, sir, pandemic is ano eh, sinubukan lang tayo niyan, pero keep going. Kasi as long as nandyan yung dreams mo or yung passion mo, kahit anong pandemic yan, or basta may resources ka, gamitin mo ng tama, then yun, uh, tuloy-tuloy lang. Walang pandemic, pandemic, sir, pag gusto mo talaga i-push yung, ano mo, yung dreams mo or yung nasimulan mo na. Yan. So, yes, sir. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> How about you, Joey? Uh, ako naman, sir. Uh, hindi ako naapektuhan ng pandemic. Ang, ang, ano ko, ang thinking ko lang ngayon, parang nagbabakasyon ako ngayon dahil napagod ako last year. Uh, ang inaano ko lang sa mga tao, uh, maging huwag nilang namnamin yung, yung nangyayari ngayon. Enjoy nyo lang. And then, magigising na lang tayo tapos na ang lahat. Uh, I hope that this vaccine will yeah, be good. available readily and ito lang yung magiging sagot natin para makabalik tayo dun sa normal life natin. Ilan naman. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Erica. Of course, sabi ko nga, uh, our statesman, <laughs> ang ganun na ako, Jo. Maganda, tama lang na siya ang huli natin. <laughs> Namimiss ko na siya eh. We used to have uh-huh. it. Right, uh, actually, yes, Tami namin yung pinagdaanan ni Orly. We have some breakfast. Eh. So, you know, take it away, Roy. So, ang message ko sa lahat ng mga business owners and dreamers, that's what I like to call entrepreneurs, dreamers. Huwag kayo mahinaan at the same time. I know it's a bad time. Allow yourself to grieve for the way it used to be. But at the same time, start planning for your next step and how it's going to be in the future. Saying to yourself over and over again that it's going to be the same probably will not help your business. It's time to say goodbye to the way you did things before and then look forward positively to a brighter future with, with, your, ano, with your business. Um, it's, not, it's possibly not moving forward it's possibly moving to diagonally to the side, left, right, up, down. Hindi na yung dating path, but it's okay. Because yung passion natin for what we, for our businesses, it is what drives us. Diba? Hindi, naman yung, hindi naman yung ating uh, methodology ang nagdadrive sa atin, yung passion natin for the business. So, okay lang magsumama ang loob, pero huwag kayo masyadong magtagal doon. It's time to move. And the time is now. Yun na. 
Hello, all right. Salamat uh, for a very inspiring and very informative uh, session or episode. Salamat, uh, Erica. Salamat, Joey. Salamat, Roy. Again, uh, salamat din sa lahat ng ano, as far as Dabao. May tinasurusugon tayo, si Rina. Thank you, thank you. Uh, of course, Valenzuela. So, uh, of course, si Maria Catherine Velasco, inahabot kayong tatlo. So, mag-message na lang kayo. Ano raw siya, spa, trainer siya, tsaka spa owner. So, kailangan niya kayong tatlo. So, whatever purpose. So, Mar- Mar- Maria Catherine Velasco, contact them. And again, we will we'll end the next fruitful episode. Again, this is Business Marketplace, a place where SMEs can present their products and services, where SMEs can exchange business with each other because together we will uh, recover, we will grow and overcome this pandemic or this current situation. Mabuhay ang negosyante Pilipino. Maraming pong salamat at see you sa next week as we feature naman okay. mga travel and tour na nag-ibot sa business. See you. Thank you. Thank salamat, you all. Salamat, thank, salamat. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.